The internal microphone here on the iPhone or the iPad is actually surprisingly good, but what about if you want to increase the quality of the sound you're getting for your videos, for your audio recordings, or for any other application here on the iPhone? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you through the options that you have for connecting a quality microphone to your iPhone or your iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And in this video, we're all about the recording because as I mentioned before, we have a decent mic on here. In fact, I've even recorded entire demos just using the internal microphone, which I will link up there and down there. So you don't need to rush out and buy expensive gear to get a good sound. However, if you do want to take your recordings to the next level, then here's some options to connect another microphone to your iPhone or your your iPad to get a better quality sound. Now, first up, let's talk about the different ways we can connect to our iPhone or our iPad. The first and most obvious, if you have anything but an iPhone 8 or an iPhone X, is to use the three and a half mil jack here. So you can plug in any microphone that has the ability to output a three and a half mil signal, and that can go into here. Now, there's something to keep in mind with this, which is that not only do you have to have a device that has that jack, but the jack here uses what's called a T. RRS, which is a tip ring ring sleeve. So your standard microphone that you'll get off the shelf is going to have an output that is not going to be compatible with this. You will need an adapter to go in between which is what we have here. This is an Audio-Technica adapter. So this is a TRS to TRRS adapter. Rode make a similar one, and I'll link down in the description to where you can pick these up. But what this does is it takes a three and a half mil microphone signal, as well as a headphone output, and then it goes to your TRRS jack. So you can plug this into your phone, and then you can plug any microphone you like into here and you can plug in headphones so you can monitor your audio, which is super important for music recording. And even if you're doing some spoken word or you're using it for video recording, it's really good idea to be able to monitor the audio and hear what audio is actually coming through. So that's the first thing we'll talk about in relation to that. The other option, and if you've got an iPhone 8 or an iPhone X, obviously you're gonna need to use this, is the lightning port here. So you can use microphones that plug directly into the lightning adapter. There's a few of those that you can choose from. Uh, I don't use those specifically because they're a little bit limited in functionality. There's some really good quality ones made by Apogee and other companies. And again, I'll link in the description to where you can check those out. But I tend to use a standard USB mic or a USB interface so that I can have more flexibility in the microphones that I use. So let's dive in now and I'll take you through the different types of microphones we have from our budget that use our analog jack all the way up to something that's going to be more professional quality. Let's go now. Okay, so as I mentioned, the first option is just to use the three and a half mil jack on our phone or our iPad. And one of the options we have to do that is to use something like this, a lavalier microphone. This is the Audio-Technica AT3350 uh, IS, which is designed for using with iPhones and iPads and smart devices as well as being able to plug into your digital SLR cameras and the like as well. So this one has your standard three and a half mil connector here. And this actually comes comes with the adapter cable here. So this is where I got my TRS to TRRS because this one plugs into the microphone there and then we have our headphone output and this is what goes into our phone or our tablet. Now you can see here that this has got a little barrel here which has our coin battery in it. It's a compressor microphone so it's got an on off switch there so we can turn it on and it actually clips on so it's got a little tie clip style there and that will just clip on and be a nice little lavalier microphone. Rode Smart Lav is very similar to this, a little bit more expensive, but both of those are really good options because they're simple, they're portable. As you can see here, this has a heap of cable attached to it, which is both good and bad. That's why it's sort of tied up and it's all a bit messy here, but it means you can get far away from your phone or your camera or whatever it is. And as I said before, you can hook it up to a camera or anything that just uses a standard jack, or you can connect to the adapter to plug into your phone. So keep that in mind that if you using a lavalier microphone, you need to have an adapter like this to actually plug it in because if you plug that directly into your phone, it's not going to be compatible because it's going to send a TRS signal into a TRRS jack 
and it may not line up the microphone correctly. So you will need both of those. But as I mentioned, the Smart Lav uh, Rode sell a, a, an adapter for that. And then this one has its own adapter. And this is actually a reasonably affordable microphone too. So I will link in the description to where you can take a look at this, but it's a decent quality uh, analog, analog. So it's not a digital, but it's using that analog connection into your phone. So that is one option. And you can buy a whole heap of different types of microphones from Dynamics to all sorts of others that use that connection. Or you can grab some of the uh, XLR microphones we'll be talking Talking about later and you can connect those up using these sort of adapters as well so let's now dive into the next option that we have here so I'm skipping over the direct lightning adapter microphones as I mentioned before because I don't have one and I don't use them but again I will be linking to those below you can check out some of the options you have but the next easiest way to have a microphone is to use something like this. This is a USB microphone. This is the Samson Meteor, which is currently my favorite little USB microphone because not only is it very cute, but it's super portable. So it folds up like that. It has its own little, little pouch that it comes with. And I throw this in my kit bag and I'm good to go. I have a full review on the Samson Meteor if you want to check out the quality of this one. And I will link that up there and down there for you as well. So what can we do with a USB microphone? Well, the first thing to keep in mind is that we need something else to go with a USB microphone. And that is not only the USB cable, which I don't have here, but we need a lightning to USB adapter because obviously this has a USB output here and it goes to your standard USB, which will go into this lightning to USB adapter. And then this is what plugs into your phone or your tablet and then you plug your USB connection in there. So with one of these adapters, and I've got full reviews, which we'll link there and there on Lightning to USB adapters, these are really, really handy because you can connect up any USB device. So whether it's a microphone like this, or if it's an audio interface or a MIDI keyboard, or even a standard QWERTY keyboard, you can connect all sorts of USB devices directly to your phone or your tablet, and it's super handy. They're not cheap. You can buy cheaper versions, which I've also had a look at in the past, but I do recommend getting this one, which is a lightning to USB 3 adapter because it has the USB but it also has a lightning port so you can charge up your device while you're using it. So what are the benefits of a USB microphone? Well everything is integrated into here. So we've got our, our condenser microphone on the front here with its volume adjustment there. It's got a little mute switch on there. But on the back here, we've got a headphone socket and we've got the USB connection. So I can throw this in my kit bag with, my, with its USB cable and just this, and then I'm good to go. I can record directly to my phone or my, my iPhone or my iPad with nothing more than this. I don't have to have power. So this is all powered via USB and it works on pretty much any phone or tablet because it's not using a whole heap of power. So we don't need to take any power supply with us. We can be completely mobile. And the quality that we get out of these, I'm actually really impressed with. So this is the Samson. There's uh, Blue make a lot. They make the Yeti and the Snowball. There's a lot of good quality, even Audio Technica, who I showed you the AT before. They make a really high quality USB condenser microphone as well. And these are in the range of sort of your 80 to 100 up to 200 for your top quality ones. So there'll be links in the description down below that you can check out and see if a USB microphone might be a good option for you to get your recordings on your iPhone or your iPad to the next level. Okay, last but not least, what if you have a studio microphone like this Samson CO1 studio condenser that you want to use with your phone or your iPad? Well, you can do it, but you're going to need a couple of things to go in between this because most of your high quality microphones will use this one, which is called an XLR connection. So this is a three pin connection that plugs into your microphone like that. And the other end has another three pin, a male adapter that needs to go somewhere. And clearly that's not going to go into your lightning port or your three and a half mil jack. You can, as I mentioned before, get a cable that's going to convert your XLR into a three and a half mil input. The problem with that though is that if you're using a condenser microphone that needs power, your phone's three and a half mil jack is not going to provide that power. So you can only use a dynamic microphone and I won't go into the details between dynamic and condenser except to say that a dynamic doesn't need power. It's got a lower signal level and less audio clarity, I guess, or volume. A condenser needs 48 volts of phantom power, which you need an interface to provide. So that's what we're going to talk about here is audio interfaces. So there's a couple of options for an interface. You can get something portable like this one, which is the Tascam IXZ, which is a microphone and guitar interface. And this runs from batteries, so it's very handy, but it uses the three and a half mil jack. So you're not going to get the same quality because if you plug this one in here, then you're going to get analog, the analog, uh, 
conversion goes on here and then that goes directly into your three and a half mil jack and it's obviously no good if you've got an iphone 8 or an iphone x or, or even a 7 as well so something like this yes i'm pulling out the steinberg ur12 audio interface again the steinberg range are really good because they uh pack in some really high quality audio preamps here so we've got a mic pre the d pre mic and they are multi-powered. So this one in particular, you can power it via direct USB or via a five volt DC. So you've got your power bank battery, you can power this one with that one there. But what you're going to need along with those is our old friend, this one here, our lightning to USB adapter. Because once again, we need to change our USB signal, that's just a standard USB into a lightning signal. So we need this adapter to do that. But the benefit you're gonna get of pairing a studio condenser with something like this with a high quality um, audio interface is that you can then grab any microphone you want, any dynamic, any condenser microphone of your choosing. So you get a whole bunch more flexibility. So once you've got this, you can plug any analog signal in here, your guitars, your keyboards, anything that has a line level signal and any microphone can be plugged in here. They can all be connected up using your lightning to USB connection. And then any application using here will take on that sing signal. And that's something I probably haven't made clear is that not only your garage bands and your other applications for your music recording, but even if you're using your camera, camera app, if you're doing other things that have audio, it's gonna take over the audio input. So your audio input and your output will be using your interface here or your interface here, or even just your USB microphone. So this is great if I'm doing videos, if I'm doing live streaming, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, I can take just this and this, and then I just plug my USB microphone directly into my phone, and then my headphones into the back here, and I've instantly got my own little live streaming set up with a, a little mount there, and that above that I'm ready to go I'm ready to live stream from anywhere so really flexible really good option to have with the USB microphone one of the big benefits of that one there of course you can use your own headset microphones you can use Bluetooth microphones there's a heap of alternatives but these are some of my preferred ways and some of the best methods that I've come across of using microphones with the iPhone here so I hope you found this useful as I mentioned we've got links in the description down there to all of these different products that you can take a look at and those are all affiliate links which means if you make a purchase from those then not only do you get some cool new gear but you'll be supporting the channel here as well so thank you again for watching if you do have comments questions or suggestions or your own tips of really great microphones for the iphone or the ipad you can leave those down below and i'll see you on the next video Hey, thanks for watching. Once again, if you would like to check out any of the gear that I mentioned on this video, you can check out the links in the description below, and those are affiliate links, so you'll be getting cool new gear and helping me out here on the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.